safely. Let us to it, Hellmel. If not to heaven, then hand in hand to hell. I did not kill your husband. Why then, he is alive. He was gentle, mild, and virtuous. The better for the king of heaven that hath him, for he was fitter for that place than earth. And thou art fit for any place but hell. Yes, one place else, if you will hear me name it. Some dungeon. Your bedchamber. <laughs> I'll have her, but I will not keep her long. But though I killed her husband and her father, the readiest way to make the wench amends is to become her husband and her father, the which will I. Whatever the historical truth may be, Shakespeare has made of Richard an unscrupulous murderer, twisted in mind and body, relentless in his ambition to gain the crown of England, destroying all who stand in his way. Darest thou resolve? To kill a friend of mine? Please, you But I'd rather kill two enemies. Why, then thou hast it. Two deep enemies. I mean those bastards in the tower. Here, in one film, are assembled the finest players the English theatre can provide. Laurence Olivier, in what is considered by many his greatest role. Claire Bloom as the Lady Anne, moved into uneasy submission by her husband's murderer. Cedric Hardwick as King Edward IV. This is a special warrant for the Duke of Clarence. John Gilgood as the Duke of Clarence. Ralph Richardson as the Duke of Buckingham, who intrigues with Richard to usurp the crown and then becomes his victim. What's o'clock? I am thus bold to put your grace in mind of what you promised. Well, but what's o'clock? Upon the stroke of ten. Then let it strike! King! 